return comers. Thank you for joining us tonight for our show, Mermex Grace in Charge, brought to you by the Jackie Llama Rama er, uh, Jackie Llama Lobster -er. Lobster -er, lob Lobster Llama Llama Lobster Jack Lobster Llama Stylized opening of this famous song, The Age of Aquarius, the age that has come and gone over the last few years. We have a show called Grace and Charge. The definition, which may be simple elegance, refinement of movement. Hold on, we have people. Please come in. Happy birthday for everyone. Oh, yes. Oh, no. Yes. Thanks for your patience. Bless you. Very good. And as Grace being in charge, um, it's not one of the seven virtues we've ever heard about, but something that has revealed itself to me in a rather wonderful way recently. And uh, let's see here. How did we begin with Grace in charge? Oh, we had to figure out what form to use. We, for five weeks, we madly tried to put this into theater form, but we found out we had to abort that. And we decided to use the form of the timeline. The timeline that has been falling through us since the shift from the age of Pisces to the age of Aquarius. The age of the communicative nature of air. The glyph, which is the wave itself. I have a highly destylized version of the wave in uh, Hokusai's 1830s woodcut. This is the wave that came and shook Japan and rolled Fukushima and has been rolling ever since. And uh, still a classic form of wave. It is a, a form that has tied the East and the West together rather majestically. Everybody's seen this wave eat the Golden Gate and the gate in Berlin. And yeah, just for kicks, they, they move this form around. But anyway. With these paintings, I try to hold a macroscope of the non telemic view of the San Ysidro sphere. As we, rem re as we remember Ptolemy, he was the one that charted geographically the map that Columbus used to go west to, uh, I don't know, what were they doing to go and get west? They left Spain for something, I can't remember. We'll get back to this, I think. India. They were looking for India, but they found something totally all together. Yeah. And where you, San Ysidro comes into this thing, or into this story, before he was a saint, he was the one that told Columbus and everybody to go west to seek what who wants at once. They didn't know exactly what that was, but they decided it would be good to go get what who wants at once. And then uh, I, f I found this guide to be very, uh, it's a good aid for helping me paint historic figures. This is the, uh, this is Kamehameha III, King Kawiki Aioli, highly destylized again. It's a, it's a big feature of mine. I try to uh, draw things and it just doesn't turn out. It always, it always appears like they're dragons and titties and things. <laughs> Let's see here. So yes, using the form of timeline, we will uh, cross from the uh, Newtonian age, which we did in its solstice in 2010, right on the, uh, the lunar eclipse, and we became aware of the quantum age, the subject, the object, and the observer. And uh, yeah, I think, uh, let's see here, grace in charge. That's, let's go that way.
Bueno. And this, this would be my telephone. <laughs> Hello? Yeah. Oh, Fubu's. It's my clown friend, Fubu's. <laughs> yes, hello. Oh, you don't say. Of course I'm interested. Yes, tell them all. I'll double down, yes. Mm. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Fubu's, they're doing gravity recovery research on the moon. It seems as though the dust on the outside of the moon is heavier than the stuff in the middle. And that does not make sense, so of course Fabus has a crack team and they're going to get to the bottom of this. And uh, I first met Fabus in 2009. We were in a bar playing pool, the last vestiges of the best Newtonian representation you can find on our planet. The force, the inertia, the angular momentum of this game of billiards. You want to play that. It reveals so much. As we were playing this, we kept on hearing Michael Jackson songs, the pop icon. I could not understand this as we were in a heavy metal bar. Why would Michael Jackson be playing? And it turned out he had passed. And we had to come with terms with how much we knew about Michael Jackson, the pop icon. He had touched all of us so much, but how did, what was the mechanism that introduced not only him, but so many other things to us. It was then, after Fubu's talked me into it, I went home and gave myself the biggest Michael Jackson that I'd given to anybody. <laughs> I'd given to myself that afternoon, just to be able to ground myself with all that I knew about this pop icon. But still, I did not know. How did I know about him? Very good. Let's see here. Shall we move on? <laughs> Sandbox Provincialism is something that's very popular or helped me make the person I am today. And uh, let's see here. I guess we can start out with a tiny little etymological uh, foray. We can talk about my friend Fububus. It is the Greek origin of the word, the fear of stopping laughing. And I'm sure we've all suffered this from time to time. But and Fububus can be as tiny as the smallest flower, or as large as the biggest desert. The Fububus changes like this. And um, let's see here. Here we are in my grandmother's America. This here are Nevada. And uh, I'm born and raised here. And uh, I go to Virginia City with this hat on. And I pretend I'm Leonard Twain, Mark's brother. And uh, I, I spit them all sorts of yarns. They'll buy anything at elevation. A little loud, yes, thank you for the check. Virginia City being higher than Tahoe itself, it's kind of a, you can almost see you cross the way, it's an interesting area. But I go in there and I tell uh, people the etymological origins of Nevada. It's Nevada. It is, it is Nevada. Oh, from here. I'm not even from here and I know that. Uh, Sierra Nevada, that's all I remember. And Nevada. No, we, say, we say Nevada. Oh, as a provincial, like, like, where's the line? The line's in Nevada. It's not in, well, it used to be Nevada, but in a 2009 football game, and this is actually before Michael Jackson died, the University of Missouri and Nevada were hooked up in a football game. 
And that state of this game was... You mean Nevada versus Missouri? Nevada versus Missouri. And that sake in this game, the two coaches decided that it would be the state pronunciation. And Nevada lost the game 79 to 16. And so we're lucky that we don't pronounce it Nevada because there's, <laughs> there's a city in Missouri that's spelled Nevada but pronounced Nevada. And uh, but very good. And that's me trying to be provincial. I can't, even be, I can't even do it anymore. I can't even pretend to be provincial. But this was, I was trying to be, uh, break out into a cosmopolitan <laughs> aspect of the show. And uh, formally that's difficult to do. That's why we were trying to do it in a thea theater form for the longest time. But it still it didn't turn out. So we're still using the timeline. And nothing says timeline, like a little sandbox provincialism. And um, provincialism led me down to the road of cynicism. And cynicism, merely means dog-like. It's very clever to be cynic, but it's very wise to not be one. And that's what I'm trying to do. I'm actually trying to crawl out of the provincial sandbox. Provincial. And what's the best way to do that, I thought? I would try to go be with the humans. You know, try to learn how to share, maybe perhaps be like them. And uh, this is what I learned. Okay, this is the big cue. We can do this. Is it right? Yes. Okay. We're learning this. This is why we don't do a theater anymore. We can kick out all the theaters in town. We have to do it in the sandbox. Oh.
Sin after sin I had endured, yet the, old, the wounds I bear were the wounds of love. It's time for your medicine, Dr. Jeremy. Oh, you can't spell medicine without me. It's a liar! Ah. Have a sheet. Oh, you're in Thank you. Oh, oh man. Thanks for everybody's patience. So. All right, give me a hug, Oh, so put it on me. Yeah. Look at this you. Is you. A kindness. Thank you. You are our favorite patient here. Oh, I can imagine. Hi, Leonard. Oh. Happy. Oh. Mm -hmm. Thank you for singing that song. It's super fruity. Yeah, very good. You got the fruity job for sure. Yeah, honestly. Yeah. What are you doing, Leonard? What's on your mind? My so-called mind. The so-called mind. This is a tale of mine. The so-called mind. Tale of yours. Oh, yes. Very good, very good. And mine. Let me tell you how I worked it out, doctor. Mm -hmm. Or no, what do you suggest? Start from the beginning. Very good. It started at the end. It started after this, whatever that thing is. Oh, yes, the, no, the tsunami. Fukushima went down. It was the end of the age. Godzilla had spoken. And a new age was onto itself. And I had to learn how to deal with it. It was the year of the dragon. And this tone curled through every part of the collective consciousness. I found myself in a dragon pageant parade in Chinese people town. And there was a, a show called Dragons and Titties on the HBO. And nobody seemed to see it except me. So I tried to paint it, and everything came out dragons and titties. It was, I had to have a relationship with why that was happening. It was the reptile base of the mind, the pavilion part of the mind that has allowed us to do great things in space. As we evolve to the flower line, the needle context, we'll do with time what we have done with space. And I will. I can go no louder. Louder, Leonard. It's gonna have to. I'm gonna have to be louder. I went to California to put a flower in my hair. It was the signal of my age. It was just a certain witch. It was just a theory. So I went to California to put a flower in my hair, and I ended up in Nevada. So I'm still trying to get there. But uh, has anybody heard this term, go to California, put flour in your hair? <laughs> and has anybody ever heard this? No, I, I'm, I, you guys are real people. I can ask you. We're going to step out of character for a second. Hey, you down? No. Yeah, it was a big message, right? Like, it reached like some of us. I don't know. No, no. <laughs> no, you went to California put a flour in your hair, didn't you? Never went, but... Yeah. You put the volume. California with flowers in my hair. Yeah, so yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah it's, a, it's a true, like, symbol for our age, a signal, actually, if you will. Which, as we go beyond the mammalian, we see the mammals, they, could, they just motherfuck everything to distraction. We kind of have to evolve to almost to be like flowers and, like, receive energies and transmit it. And instead of trying to motherfuck it to distraction, it's almost a bore anymore to be the mammal. You know? How does that make you feel, Leonard? How does that make me feel? How does it make you feel? How does that make me feel? How does that make you feel? How does that make me? Oh, yes, how does that make me feel? Well, truly, I was trying to get, I was assimilating my collective consciousness images, and I, and I had to turn it into a means of production. And I, and I thought, me, dragons and titties, that sounds like a solid means of production yes. model. You know, I could go far with that, because they're everywhere. Uh, he brought these in for you to see, Doctor. Oh, Doctor, I thought you might be interested. Hey. The kind of medicine you can go. Yeah, that's a kind of medicine? Truly, as a cosmoanthropologist, I try to make new symbols that your DNA may or may not recognize. Oh, yeah. That your ancestors DNA may or may not recognize through you. No. No? No, we see that. Very good. Yes, that is a dragon. Where's the titty? They're all over. They're in the mind. Oh, okay, now I get it. I can't it. really point them out. Either. Yeah. No, but it's a figure of speech. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, and this was a new side. A new side. Yes, this is a Mexican mermaid. I wanted to draw one for a great many years. I never knew what one looked like. In fact, uh, is this not also Mexican mermaid? Th that is a Mexican Ooh. mermaid also, a different interpretation Ooh. of them. Mexico meaning the navel of the moon and the tongue of the angels. Yeah. Letter. Yes. How much does one of those go for? Oh, they're Federal yeah. Reserve notes. I, I'm not sure, but uh, <laughs> let's see. <laughs> Do, Quinn says Federal Reserve symbol 80. A, uh, yes, those are priced to move. Take this yeah, too. Oh, thank you. Oh, yes. No, I don't know how to take this. Very good. We'd like to keep these. Oh, really? We want them, Leonard. Well, I tell you, I'd buy them back off you at an increased price. I'd rather really? like them. Oh. Hmm. Well, how about your diagnosis? <laughs> you know what? Do you have a diagnosis for me? About thirty-six ninety-five. Thirty-six ninety-five price to move. Yeah. You know, how about thirty-six ninety-five for a side, and then times two. For a side. And then I could smoosh them together, and you could have an eight-sided something. Uh, well, if they're smushed. A transtextual one. You have to keep it transtextual, or else they don't know each other as they transmit. Yeah. You want to keep them. You want to work them serially. Serially. Yes, please. Look, as you can see, there's a. There's a macroscope of the non-Telemic view of the San Ysidro sphere. Oh, nice. I love that sphere. It's the one we all operate in. It's the unified view. Or, I mean, we do this one. We do the view. Okay. Well, lead on, Leonard. Lead on, lead on. Oh, no, no. We're going to do this. Louder, though. So we're going to have to do this. Okay. Oh, okay. Maximum, maximum. 